Welcome, I'm um, Bino Tech, and this is how to build a super smelter. Anyway, first we're going to show you how it looks. If you're wondering why one of the furnaces are turned off, it's because the game doesn't like feeding it for whatever reason. Just straight up doesn't feed it. So if I grab it, hmm. Just grab a ore and stuff. Just drop it in. Should light in a second. There we go. This one will not light. And this one did light without coal. These two furnaces appear to not work correctly at times. And I don't quite understand it, but I just learned to accept it. And now it's working how I typically expect it would. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to build it, but before we start, please like, subscribe, click the bell, let you know when next time I post a video, but you can always subscribe later, post a comment on what I should build next as a tutorial. So let's begin this tutorial. Place a chest and place down 15 hoppers on the bottom. By the way, you will need three chests. Let's and 30, 6, 60. Seventy-five or seventy-six if you want to look like this. And not just a chest directly on the hopper, so it's a step down. So you're going to need 75 or 76 hoppers, 15 furnaces, 30 redstone, 2 repeaters, 2 comparators, 2 torches, and a block of your choice. I'm using wool and orange and blue to show the difference in, two th in the two circuits. So let's start building. So once we place down the 15 hoppers, and then the 15 furnaces will begin to take shape. After we place in the furnaces, we'll have to place hoppers on top and in the back of it. Or the front. Depends on if you want to see the furnaces front. Anyway, we're going to just place in all the hoppers. Now that they're all in, place in two sets of temporary blocks so we can place in the hopper hoppers that will stream in all the items once you do that run it all the way across on both of them Once you do that, it should start beginning a bit look like this, a bit like this. Then we'll place in the wool. Set it up like this, but it'll be whatever building block of your choice. Place in the wool all the way along the side of the hoppers on this level, and then redstone dust. This will lock all the hoppers on the left side for the ore deposit. Then we'll take the orange wool and just do it a layer lower. With a repeater there. No ticks. 
a comparator, a torch, and another line of wool. Or a block choice, or your chosen block choice. Once done, you can add in the extra hopper if you want to make it level. And, sh and if you have done that, shift click both the chests in place. Once done, they'll not click together. They'll stay apart. Now, do I have ore? No, I don't. But once done, it should look like this. And let's start doing a little bit of testing to make sure you built it correctly. And it is fired correctly. As expected, this furnace did not turn on among all the others. But now you know how to build a super smelter. It can also handle foods and other ores. Over here I built this in my free time. I was a little bored. But it's a super smelter of two. Run one running gold and one running iron. The system you just fill with your fuel and the middle two is just two types of fuel. Coal and coal blocks. Iron and gold. Yeah, I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Anyway, if you would like to add this, just build two of the mirroring two spaces apart with a small system of sort a sorting system with ice running across with a few slabs, three sea pickles, and preferably blue ice. Water running full distance, but make sure you put glass up here as it will fire up and then continue. If you're wondering about this loop, it's because the system was not consistently picking up, so I had it loop around and go through it again. So one quick demonstration in call. It'll start firing all of them, get picked up, and it'll keep doing that until it swaps over the item. Sounds like a like a nice beat. Anyway, the system will continue running until the system has been loaded. Oh, and look, a bit of a straggler. And the return system has worked. Hmm, weird. Ah, must be running gold. It'll get it'll be a bit odd on this if you built this kind of system. Due to the fact it's not a hundred percent consistent. And if you built two of them like this, sometimes all of them will work on one and two will not work on the other. I Still don't quite understand why it does that, but it seems to work fine, and you won't lose anything. It'll just end up in a different spot than you typically expect. Anyway, I'm Unbeknown Tech. If you like this video, like it. Subscribe if you want to. Click the bell notification bell to let you know when I next my next upload is and until then have a nice time
Peace.